Chapter 14 The Family Tree As Zack was being strangled by his stronger self, he was quickly reminded about the goddesses wanting to help him. Though he didn't want any more blood on his hands, he knew that this was probably the last time he could ask for help. The Zack that was inside of the coffin released his grasp and melted into the landscape as he laughed away. Coughing, gagging, he started to get his breath back. Screeching noises alarmed him to turn around. His lips were greeted by passionate cocaine-laced kisses from each of the massive statue-like supreme females. We knew you would be calling on us. Did you miss us? Zack could taste the sweet cocaine losing himself in these intoxicating kisses. It seemed forever since he had tasted the drugs. I need answers now, or just send me away, back to my real world. No more games, no more visions of bullshit. I'm trying to help you all. You all chose me, but I will never find Sebastian, not without answers. Their flirting laugh turned him on as he was trying to break free from their kisses, from their naked glowing skin. You are in no position for ultimatums, but you are right. We don't have much time left. No more speaking. Just listen. They knew he needed the truth. They began to explain the dynamics of the situation, continuing to feed him cocaine with their kiss and softly touched his entire body. Hundreds of years ago, a man named Ash and his family ended up on this desolate mountain. An Indian witch doctor on the verge of making a cure for his sick wife. Plants, potions, and the wrong prayers. Ash's mixture opened a permanent gateway. Accidentally, he created a curse far beyond the powers of his control. Two demons had gained access to this wicked portal, taking control of everything. They approached him with a choice. Ash was with his deathly wife and his only son. That was the choice. Of course, out of selfishness, he chose his wife, leaving his son to the demons. His son was Sebastian. Eventually, Sebastian had a child, a baby girl. He named her Isabella. He never knew of his father's arrangement with the demons. These heartless demons came to Sebastian in many dreams. They warned him and told him that he must give away any descendants he would ever have. So to keep her safe, he hid his Isabella in a different world to protect her. Ash was given a certain amount of time before the demons would take his soul forever. He must pass the torch to Sebastian. Now that Ash is running out of time, he hid Sebastian from those who are searching for him. Isabella is also looking for him. 
but she doesn't know who he is. Not many of us do. Isabella is dangerous. If she or the Lavithians find him first, they will kill him, along with all chance of survival. <laughs> 